Hello there everybody and welcome back to Gwent. This video is just highlighting some stream highlights that I've recently had whilst playing a Scoia'tael Elven deck. Um, as some of you may know, I've only been playing a week and Scoia'tael I heard that were really really overpowered and really really easy to use. Uh, I played a couple of games of them and absolutely got wrecked. So I just sort of put them down and uh, yeah. Now that I kind of learnt, have learnt the game a little bit more, I decided to pick them up um, on this night of recording. And oh my god, when you actually click with Scoia'tael, they are really, really strong. Let me show you the deck that I was using. And I also want to show you or explain to you the ambush uh, mechanic because this was actually asked quite a lot on the stream. By the way, I actually stream pretty much every night now. Um, from 9 p.m. till 12 p.m. GMT. Um, just mainly playing Gwent at the moment, but chances are there's going to be a lot more other stuff. Um, so yeah, please come over and, and obviously come and hang out and have a chat. I mean, the link will be in the description box below. So yeah, please, please, please come on over and uh, chat. Anyway, so here's my Elven deck. Um. What really confused me with this was, I'm not going to lie, the ambush mechanic. I kind of thought there has to be some form of counter to it. Turns out there really isn't. Um, basically, cards like this, the uh, Vrihead Sappers, they have ambush. And what ambush means is that you place, it first, you place it face turn down so that your opponent can actually see what it does. And then after two turns, well, the Sappers, for example, their ambush rule is after two turns, you reveal it. So you flip it over. And then there it is. Uh, it's it's an eight bronze. It's it's ridiculous. It's really really high strength. But that's not what the cheesy thing is. Um, you have things like this: the Vrihead Dragoons. The Vrihead Dragoons combined with the Sappers mean that the Vrihead Dragoons can buff the Sapper which, uh, for four strength, which is in your hand. And then you can play this later on, and your opponent can't even touch it whilst it's on there. They probably know exactly what that card is. They've probably counted how many times, how many sappers you've actually used to actually buff this one guy up. It could be a 20 strength. It could be 25. It could be, wait, could it, could it be 25? No, it could be 24. Because we've also got cards in the deck like this. The Blue Elf Mountain Commando. This guy will allow you to return a bronze card to your hand. So, for example the Vrihead Dragoon, and then replay it. So you'd play the Vrihead Dragoon onto the Sapper. So you, you can really, 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 really mess people up with this deck. And I struggled figuring out the timing. Um, for example, this card here, Shiru, another broken card. This card is absolutely amazing. Basically, it's an ambush. You place it face down. And then when the next non-gold special card is played, cancel its effect and then destroy the strongest Opposing non-gold unit. Yes, opposing. It's basically a Scorch that you use only. It's like an offensive Scorch that you can only use on the opponent. It's ridiculous. But what I kept on doing was, for example, casting something like Scorch, which would counteract Shiru, because it's not when your opponent next plays. It's when you when when a spell is next played. So I used to I just countered it. And I've slowly but surely learned that that's the, not the mechanic. Um, I actually think I did it in one of these videos. What a noob. Um, but yeah, it, there's so many things in this deck that are really, really, really nice. I mean, these things here, the Elven Mercenaries. You play a random non-gold special card. So you can actually just mill through all your special cards really, really quickly. In one of the videos, I actually used a Scorch. And then I used Nature's Gift, which allows you to create a base copy of Scorch again, so you can create it again, cast it twice. You can even use a Glaze here, the Dryad, and you can resurrect a special card, so you can resurrect Scorch again. It's silly. Um, there's a lot of tricks that I actually do in these uh, videos, so I do hope you enjoy them. And just remember that I am new. I think I'm pretty amazed at the end of each game. I think there's only three games, uh, and I think I'm pretty amazed at how they all turned out because it was just. Wow, I don't know how the enemy actually stood a chance. And I'm a noob. Imagine someone that's really, really good with this. Jesus. Anyway, sit down, relax, and I hope you enjoy the games. Cheers, guys. Sport. <coughs> okay, so we get rid of the first lights. It's my understanding. 
How are we going to need Idiamine? Maybe to counteract weather. Other than that, I don't think we need the marksman either. Oh, we don't even need the uh, mercenary either. Let's get rid of that. Choose who will start the next round. The opponent. Instantly a Necker. So we're going to remove said never Necker. <sighs> this is going to be painful. Peace with humans and by thus. So he's just literally going to concentrate on spawning Necker after Necker after Necker. That sucks, my friend. Okay, let's use a commando. I'll feed you to the crows. And you. Put you there. <laughs> Not really matters. With humans, I bite us. We'll actually give it to Torviel this time. Do, 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 do. do we have a lacerate in this deck? I think we do. Which is very good against consume. Have to go for the Arrakis spam. There's an Arrakis. Let's put Ida down. See what happens. Okay. Here comes the pin. I'm thinking I could pass here. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. Toby was going to come up, come up with ten, and then add two. Strength, so that'll be fourteen. Yeah, we'll pass. I think we should be all right. Waste of arrows, that lot. Beautiful. Okay, good stuff. 
Thank you, Tarvio. <clears throat> Slaughter them to a man. Okay, we'll chuck the points on the sapper. It's a big advantage. I think we can just give him this one. We have card advantage. We'll just give him this one. Well, if it was the center crone weaves, so he'll only have a six, I think. Not the eight. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. No, it was the eight. Bloody hell, okay. We do have a lasso, right? It doesn't seem to be running a lot, a lot of Arrakis, though. You're not a nice person. Have strength, my love. Of death. Ha! Ha! It's not something I wanted to do. Is it worthwhile to split those buffs, or is it worth more to keep buffing the sapper alone? Um, I'm not sure, Kalgarak. Basically, the sapper itself is really strong because it's got ambush, and what that means is it's face down. For two turns, and within those two turns, nothing can hurt him. It's pretty OP. Nothing can hurt it at all. Okay, let's just do this. We've hammered enough. Let's get to work. I'm going to scorch you to get rid of you. Eat something big. Nine's not very big, but... Lie still. You've not yet recovered. You scotch again. Damn it. A storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Scorch again. Okay, good. Whew. Thank you, nature's gift. Okay, so for two turns, the Verad Sap is going to turn over in two turns. So let's do this. Kiss bar in there. Okay. That's absolutely fine. That's a win for us. Brilliant. We'll put down the sapper. He's going to pass. 
We're going to get out a lacerate. Ooh, that was close, wasn't it? Nearly on us. And now the sapper turns over. We win by 16. Hey! That's the first time I've won with that bloody deck. Jesus Christo! That went really, really well. I definitely think it was the scorch little combo at the end. Nice, nice. Sacrifice. Okay, more run, good. We've hammered enough. Let's Bruver. get to work. Mr. Hug. <coughs> get rid of the first lights. We don't need them. We've got a sapper, which is good. We don't really need two sappers, but whatever. Um, I actually think that's a pretty nice deck. Hand. Do we need Milver? I think that's fine, actually. We'll accept it. Uh, who do you want to start the next round? We'll let the opponent do it. Then retreat! Okie dokie. Put down a dragoon oh, straight away. Head. Put points in a sapper. And then we'll probably put some points in Tarviel as well. You desire. Prepare for war. I'll feed you to the crows. Slaughter them to a man! Okay. Barbarians. He's not going to like this. So he's just wasted quite a few points. And he's just wasted resistance as well. I can play Milver because it's the strongest card on his on his hand on his deck his side of his uh, board. It'll return back to the hand normally. I trust no one, never have. Voila. I had that done to me and I nearly cried. GG. <laughs> Order will triumph. It oh must my triumph. gosh, excuse me. Okay, 16. Uh, sorry, 11. Um, Rehead Dragoon again. Slaughter them to a man. Pimp up a sapper. Jesus, that's a shout and a half. Do we think we can win this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven. I can pull a Scorch. Mahakam wasn't pulled in a day. I'll get rid of the 14. <clears throat> Anything else? Then retreat. Okay. Slaughter them to a man. Give the points over to Torviel. 
Taruvio. I love this card, by the way. I think this card is absolutely amazing. Your life is mine now. A storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Didn't want a rally, but whatever. I'll feed you to the crows! You may as well put it Onward, down. Right and give the points over to... To Teruvial again. I'm actually sort of getting the deck now. Now that I've calmed down, begun to relax, I'm actually beginning to understand it. I think I definitely need to download Gwent Tracker so that I can, oh, excuse me, so that I can see the contents of my deck. Okay, so he just wants us outright to win. That's fine. We've got a Sapper and Torviel with a shit ton of points. Um, we can also use... Scorch again, which is really nice. Okay. GG. Oh, we've got a fair few viewers. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming over and watching the stream. If you like what you see, please, 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 please press that follow button. New to streaming. Semi-new to Gwen. Loving it. Both of it. <laughs> Both of it? That made no sense. I know what I meant. Okay, let's put Shiru down. There's a chance that we can obviously remove something like Char. Plus, we want to kind of confuse him. So, we can put that there. He's not going to know what that is. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Okay. In fact, would it be better just to you scorch again? I think you probably would, wouldn't it? You'll be fine. What do you want? Oh crap! Okay, okay, I forgot about that interaction. Totally forgot about that interaction. That sucks. My bad. My prescription: a bit of bloodletting. I should have done Scorch before placing Shiru. What a massive waste. I'll feed you to the crows! My smart. A bit of blood letting. Very smart. I'll feed you to the crows! My prescription. A bit of blood letting. He is literally just stealing my hand. That's 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 nice. I like that. Everything all right? <laughs> Last rate's not really going to do anything. Now the other thing that I've got here is obviously I can put down Torviel. Chances are he's going to pass. He won't know that we've got this amount. But then again, what happens if he's got a scorch? Torviel will never turn over. Until he passes. Do I think I can win with what I've got? You know what? I think we're probably best passing. I think we're probably best passing. Letting him win there. And then we can drop down the two sappers. Tov Teruvial. I think we're doing all right. I think we are doing okay.
As you wish. Okay. Thank you very much for giving me that kind, sir. Onward, Fryhead! We'll give that to Teruvial. Go on, and Kazel! Kiss bar in there. We have some serious points here. My men know the meaning of sacrifice. Same, I have no time. Your humble Another emissary? Nice <coughs> Tedatu. Okay, okay. So we'll put Teruvial down. Erigua. Enidan Glenna. We'll lower you. Erigua. Holy crap, okay. Not your lucky day. This is close. This is going to be pretty intense. He's passed. Waste of arrows, that lot. So I'll be up. For your birth! I think have we've done it. My love. Yes, we have. Nicely done. I'm Holy so shite. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Torviel, you what 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 star? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Wow. Very impressed. Very impressed. So I'm slowly but surely getting used to it now. We'll play one more game. Calgrat, good job, nice man. Thank you very much, dude. As you can see, this deck is pretty cheesy. This is why not a lot of people like going against Skyatel. My folk have suffered much. Here's another Skyatel deck. The ambush Nothing mechanic like is awesome. A lot of people spot. don't like it because it, you, you can't interact with it. Once something's on the board, then it's on the board. I should have kept Scorch in my hand. I remember now. Um, but yeah, a lot of people aren't that keen on Ambush, purely because, I think even Shiru would actually be really good, or maybe not until the very end. Get rid of Last Ray, we're not going to need Last Ray. But yeah, not a lot of people like, um, Ambush because you can't interact with it at all. As you can see, I can place down Teruvial and she doesn't activate. You can't damage her. You can't do anything until you pass, which is really sort of bad when it comes Got to like, mechanics. For me. It's not because it's cheesy. It's just because it's not fun. Uh, I suppose the counter argument for it is it's very fun if you are the one doing it. Slaughter them to a but man. I can't imagine playing against it. I, I played against it. It wasn't fun. I had no idea what was going on. That is when Death I was introduced to no this card, Shiru, which bloody hurts. Um. Death awaits us all. Peace with humans, I buy that. Kirby Pink just started watching. Hello, Kirby Pink. How are you, my friend?
Mahakam! I'm debating if I want to use Teruvial now. Death awaits us all. Onward, Fryhead! We won't use her now. Uh, you spying on me? Okay, where are the hidden cameras? <laughs> you caught on cameras. Uh, Candid camera, Water Kirby. As a poison. Uh, I know what you mean, but I think you have to know how and when to use it properly. Like with Tor or whatever, you need to anticipate when they are going to pass. I agree, but Teruvial I can put down right now. If I think I'm going to win, then... I can put Teruvial down and I will just win. You cannot... You cannot do anything with a turn card, which which sucks. Have strength, my love. That's what I wanted. Scorch. Thank you very much. We can actually Scorch again. He's still over 20. Which will allow me... Uh, sorry, he's not even over 20. This is still the highest um, costing you... The, thing, the right. strongest unit, sorry, on the board. We've hammered enough. Let's get to work. Let's cast Scorch on that as well. So currently we have tremendous, tremendous card advantage. I summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> Thank Kirby, man. Um, I might have seen, oh, I might have seen that wrong, but I thought that there was a card you took out of ambush. That took your card out of ambush. Yes, it takes your card out of ambush when they pass. Kirby Pink, aren't you burning his cards or something? Isn't that cheating? It's not cheating when you're using Scorch, dude. It's cheating technically because I can use Scorch over and over and over again. Which I shouldn't be able to do, but this, uh, this faction can. Is he going to use a spell? I'm going to put Shiru down just thinking he may use a spell. This counts as another Scorch if he casts a spell. It's ambush so he can't see what it is. And then when the next special card is played by the opponent, it'll destroy his strongest opposing non-gold card, which would be this here. His uh, Mahakam guard. Hacks. <laughs> Not hacks, Kirby. He's elves, dude. Oh, here we go. Oh, how lovely it burns. There you go. That is 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 silly. Wow, we've just totally shut him down. What was he even trying to cast? Does he even show you a swallow potion? Uh uh. Um. Do I just play Teruvial now? <coughs> Excuse me. Or do I just keep to reveal until the end? Let's use Saskia just as a big F U. What can he do? In that case, I believe Ambush might be a little over the top. Yes, Calagrac it is. It, it's a little over the top. I understand from the development point of view that you're elves and you're like 
running around and scuttering around being all stealthy in bushes and stuff. But when it comes to a card game and the fact that you can't interact with it, it's kind of silly. I love it. I, I really, really, really do like um, Ambush, but it's just no a case surprises. that when I went against it, I can understand why people do not like it. Oh, see, this is this is cheese. This card here, a glaze, is going to allow us to resurrect a non-gold special card, aka we can use Ambush again. It's a Scorch, sorry, again, not Ambush. It's pretty cheesy. Okay, let's put Idia Mean down. We will put her here. Basically, it's exactly the same as Shiru, which we played earlier, but he doesn't have the Scorch effect. He'll cancel out any buffs that he wants to do. Cheesy, I know. My folk have suffered much. What the hell that noise was? My fan on my PC. That can't be good if my fan's that bloody loud. Ugh. Okay. Replacing cats. Thank you very much. Come on, come on, come on. I imagine there's probably some uh, room for balancing that reasonably and appropriately. Hmm. A lot of people have said that the balancing should be if you can silence a card, you know, like using D-Bomb or D-Shackles, you actually can cancel the ambush effect or the card just won't flip over, which I think is really smart. Um, obviously, pff, you can never guarantee if that's actually going to work. Let's put Teruvial down now. I think I've definitely got this in the bag. I don't think he's going to beat me. Maybe adding some cards that can deal with it. Ironically, Cal, is, uh, there is one card that can deal with ambush cards. And that one card is a Skyatel card. So you've got to play the Skyatel deck to counter the Skyatel mechanic. It's kind of cheesy. Why have you summoned me? Okay. I thought that was going to be Idiomean. Oh, Shiru. Slaughter them to a man! Okay, so I, I, I effectively can Scorch here again. And then I get rid of two. Because these don't count yet, and they're not on the board. Let's do it. You'll be fine. Just to keep him down. And then I think it's just a case of placing down a sapper. Placing down the archer. And then seeing who's won. Uh, Calgarak, Cal Calgarak again, sorry. That doesn't sound balanced. <laughs> it isn't, it isn't, dude. Okay, so we'll put down a sapper. And we'll put down the archer. And then, we'll just see who wins, who passes. We've got a 5. A 12. He needs to cast a spell... For idiot mean to turn over. For us to actually get that five. Oh, like that. Brilliant. Why have you summoned me? Brilliant. Pure cheese. They can hide, but there is no escape. Awesome. Skyatel. Elven Blarney. You are interesting. Let's put it that way. He's going to turn over. 12. Blue mountains! There you go. I'm passing. He's going to pass. And here comes Teruvial. Wowzers. 42 to 18. That is silly. Now that I'm learning how to use the ambush mechanic, 
That's nice. <laughs> I really, really like that. Wow, good game, my friend. Good game. Hello there everybody and welcome back to Gwent. This video is just highlighting some stream highlights that I've recently had whilst playing a Scoia'tael Elven deck. Um, as some of you may know, I've only been playing a week and Scoia'tael I heard that were really really overpowered and really really easy to use. Uh, I played a couple of games of them and absolutely got wrecked. So I just sort of put them down and uh, yeah. Now that I kind of learnt, have learnt the game a little bit more, I decided to pick them up um, on this night of recording. And oh my god, when you actually click with Scoia'tael, they are really, really strong. Let me show you the deck that I was using. And I also want to show you or explain to you the ambush uh, mechanic because this was actually asked quite a lot on the stream. By the way, I actually stream pretty much every night now. Um, from 9 p.m. till 12 p.m. GMT. Um, just mainly playing Gwent at the moment, but chances are there's going to be a lot more other stuff. Um, so yeah, please come over and, and obviously come and hang out and have a chat. I mean, the link will be in the description box below. So yeah, please, please, please come on over and uh, chat. Anyway, so here's my Elven deck. Um. What really confused me with this was, I'm not going to lie, the ambush mechanic. I kind of thought there has to be some form of counter to it. Turns out there really isn't. Um, basically, cards like this, the uh, Vrihead Sappers, they have ambush. And what ambush means is that you place, it first, you place it face turn down so that your opponent can actually see what it does. And then after two turns, well, the Sappers, for example, their ambush rule is after two turns, you reveal it. So you flip it over. And then there it is. Uh, it's it's an eight bronze. It's it's ridiculous. It's really really high strength. But that's not what the cheesy thing is. Um, you have things like this: the Vrihead Dragoons. The Vrihead Dragoons combined with the Sappers mean that the Vrihead Dragoons can buff the Sapper which, uh, for four strength, which is in your hand, and then you can only use on the opponent. It's ridiculous. But what I kept on doing was, for example, casting something like Scorch which would counteract Shiru, because it's not when your opponent next plays, it's when you, when, when a spell is next played, so I used to, I just countered it, and I've slowly but surely learned that that's the, not the mechanic, um, I actually think I did it in one of these videos, what a noob, um, but yeah, it, there's so many things in this deck that are really, really, really nice, I mean, these things here, the Elven Mercenaries, you play a random non-gold special card, so you can actually just mill through all your special cards really, really quickly. In one of the videos, I actually used a Scorch. And then I used Nature's Gift, which allows you to create a base copy of Scorch again. So you can create it again and cast it twice. You can even use a Glaze here, the Dryad. And you can resurrect a special card. So you can resurrect Scorch again. It's silly. Um, there's a lot of tricks that I actually do in these uh, videos. So I do hope you enjoy them. And just remember that... I am new. I think I'm pretty amazed at the end of each game. I think there's only three games. Uh, play this later on and your opponent can't even touch it whilst it's on there. They probably know exactly what that card is. They've probably counted how many times, how many sappers you've actually used to actually buff this one guy up. It could be a 20 strength. It could be 25. It could be, wait, could, it, could it be 25? No, it could be 24 because we've also got cards in the deck like this. The Blue Elf Mountain Commando. This guy will allow you to return a bronze card to your hand. So, for example, the Vrihead Dragoon. And then replay it. So you play the Vrihead Dragoon onto the Sapper. So you, you can really, 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 really mess people up with this deck. And I struggled figuring out the timing. Um, for example, this card here, Shiru. Another broken card. This card is absolutely amazing. Basically, it's an ambush. You place it face down. And then when the next non-gold special card is played, cancel its effect and then destroy the strongest opposing non-gold unit. Yes, opposing. It's basically a scorch that you use only. It's like an offensive scorch. So you can, and I think I'm pretty amazed at how they all turned out because it was just... Wow. I don't know how the enemy actually stood a chance... And I'm a noob. Imagine someone that's really, really good with this. Jesus. Anyway, sit down, relax, 
and I hope you enjoy the games. Cheers, guys. Sport. <coughs> okay, so we get rid of the first lights. It's my understanding. Are we going to need... Idiomeen? Maybe to counteract weather. Other than that, I don't think we need the marksman either. Probably don't even need the uh, mercenary either. Let's get rid of that. Choose who will start the next round. The opponent. 